What makes you nervous? Heights. <laughs> <laughs> that one was easy. Well, I don't know. I guess most people are nervous when they face uncertainty. My girlfriend's parents. Boobs. Yeah. I'd go with those snakes we just saw at the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> my ex-wife. Oh, uh, my brother. Name something that makes you nervous. Test! There's only two things I'm afraid of. The good Lord, dear Jesus Christ, and a coward with a pistol. The economy. The police. Giant spiders. These are making me nervous as interviews. Something that, that, that really uh, makes me nervous, and it's a very, it's, it's a small thing, but I mean, something that really gets to me is, uh, is karaoke. One of the things that always made me nervous, and still kind of does, uh, is the mail. Because it can deliver bad news. I'm Brian Price, uh, co-writer and co-director of Call Me. And I'm Kevin Necessary, co-writer and co-director. Call Me is, uh, it's a, it's a movie that is, uh, that, that's born out of, um, anxiety. Uh, that, that Kevin and I, it's something that we, that we both have experienced. Basically, if you, uh, if you boil it down to, uh, to its simplest form, it's about a guy who gets a phone number and uh, then who spends the next night agonizing over whether or not to make the decision uh, to pick up the phone and make use of the phone number. I, uh, I found out probably about uh, three or four years ago that I have an anxiety disorder. I had two panic attacks while I was at my job uh, working retail and uh, the first of which I um, actually called 911. I thought I was having a heart attack. The entire left side of my body uh, went numb. I, um, I called an ambulance and then I called my parents to tell them goodbye. Uh, then when the paramedics showed up, suddenly all the numbness went away and I was like, wait a minute, that probably isn't a heart attack then. And we had to start thinking about uh, what it was at that point. There was one time where I, you know, I met a girl at a party. It was, it was the next day I was leaving work and I was, I was in the, uh, the parking lot or in the parking garage and I wanted to call her and I spent an hour or so in my car um, just calling other people talking to them about should I call her should I not uh, just trying to psych myself up to the point where I could call her there are a lot of people who uh, who go through the same thing and it's not something that um, that really gets uh, represented or talked about um, accurately, in, in my opinion, very much. So that's that's kind of what uh, I'm hoping to get out of Call Me. I want this film to be made because it's a catharsis to me. This film is giving us a chance to tell what we feel is a very personal story. You see people portrayed in ways um, that almost stereotype a person with, with a disorder. And, and, and kind of you know cram them into a corner where they are where they're this, they're, they're this kind of character they're the anxious character. We didn't we, we didn't set out to do that. We set out to tell kind of an everybody's story about uh, dealing with anxiety. I think our movie Call Me will help people uh, recognize anxiety. Everyone has an anxiety in some form or fashion. One of the ways that I, I started to really learn how to deal with it was to uh, was to talk about it, talk openly about it. Um, if you walk into my bathroom, my medication is, is, is sitting on the counter for everybody to see. That's in part because I know I'll forget to take it if I don't do that, but it's also because I, I'm, I'm not afraid anymore to have that conversation and, and to admit to people that, you know, this, this is a limitation uh, that I have and I'm working on not having anymore. You can beat back this fear. That's, that's what I hope people get out of it. How do you cope with that anxiety? I just don't go around giant spiders. <laughs> I panic to him all day and he calms me down. Hold Tim's hand. <laughs> I just stay away from her pretty much. Try to take my anxiety medicine and try to find ways to beat the stress. Alcohol. What calms me down, you know, is prayer. I breathe deeply and realize there are people just like myself. The only thing to fear is fear itself. That's what Roosevelt said, and I guess if that's how you approach it, you'll be less nervous.